Okay, so let's get straight into it. For Windows, you will need WinSCP. For Mac, I recommend CyberDuck. And you will need these two downloads as well, which will also be in the description. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up WinSCP, or of course you can go ahead and open up CyberDuck if you're on Mac. So now, we've got to head over to your device. So once you're on your device, what you need to do is go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then the Wi-Fi you are on, you want to click this icon next to it, and you will need your IP address from it. Now, you want to make sure your device and your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi. If not, this won't work. So remember your IP address. So the host name will be your IP address. Now you can use port 22, 23 or 21. Depends which one works for you. 22 is the most recommended. Now the username is going to be root. And the password is going to be alpine. Just go ahead and click login. And what we're actually doing now is connecting to our device from the computer. So as you can see, we are now connected to the device. It is on the right hand side here. And what you want to do is go to media. So now what you want to do is right click, click new, and click directory. And you want to call this Cydia. Now you want to go into the Cydia folder, and you want to right click, new, another directory, and we're calling this auto install. A capital A and I. So capital I for install. Then just go ahead and click OK. Now what you want to do is get these two files, the .eb files, and you want to go ahead and drag them right into the auto install folder. So now if we're in the auto install folder, these two should be in here, like that. So whilst you are in this directory right here, so from root, media, Cydia and auto install, what you want to do is click control T. Now here we'll need to enter two codes. These will be in the description, so you can just go ahead and copy and paste them. So the first one is this one right here. Remember, the longer one is the first one. Right click, paste, and then go ahead and click execute. As you can see, if it works, it should say setting up Cydia, and yeah, that thing right there. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing for the second link. And execute again, and you can see setting up Cydia. Now the next thing, it is actually complete. The final step you need to do is actually on your device. So on your device, what you want to do is actually reboot it. The way you do this, hold the power and the home button together, just continue holding it until it switches off and then the Apple logo shows up. And that is a reboot right there. So there we go, you can see the device has been rebooted and just go ahead and unlock it and if we scroll across, Cydia is now right here. And you can see it is real, opening it up, Cydia right here. Now what I've noticed, when you do do this, you will need the Wi-Fi on the device on. So you can't turn it off, it needs to be on. So that's just a quick reboot from Cydia. You can go ahead and open it up now. And now we will be able to go ahead and install some stuff. Now of course not everything is currently available on iOS 8 because it is a new crack. And as you can see here, almost nothing works on iOS 8 yet. It says it right there, so don't go ahead and try and get everything. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you would like to find out how to jailbreak your device, a link to that will be in the description. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily. Check out my FIFA channel where I post daily. And finally, be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Second nature now, mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer.